How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's Keaton here and in this one we're going over Facebook or Meta Business Manager. This is a super important tool if you want to run Facebook ads the right way. Maybe you didn't even know there was a right way to run them, but if you want to make sure you're getting the biggest bang for your buck with Facebook ads, you need to set up Meta Business Manager the right way, which I'm going to show you in this video. I know there's a lot of people watching this video that might be wondering how to set this up properly for their clients or how to plug in clients to their agency. I'm gonna release a separate video on that because it's really a completely different topic. So watch for that, make sure you subscribe so you see it. Anyways, all of this to say that by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what Facebook Business Manager is, how to use it, and how to set it up for your business and run ads for your specific business, whether that be an agency or any other type of business. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in my computer. We're at business.facebook.com forward slash create. And this is where you would go to create your Facebook or Meta Business Manager. And what I want you to think of Facebook Business Manager as is a power strip that all of your other business assets can plug into. So whether it's your own ad account, your client's ad account, your cousins, uncles, dogs, dentists, ad account, it doesn't matter, they can all plug into your business manager. Also Facebook pages. If you own multiple businesses with multiple Facebook pages, they can all plug into one business manager. Quick story, when I was first starting out, I thought I needed a business manager for every single client that I brought on or every single business that I worked with. That is not the case. You just need one business manager per business that you own. Honestly, you could get away with having just one business manager like for every single business that you own, depending on how you want to make things happen. But you really only need one. Start with one. Don't make multiples because they don't even let you delete them once you create them and it'll be staring at you every single day for the rest of your life inside of Facebook Manager if you create it and then don't end up using it. Awesome, so to create a Facebook Business Manager, all you're going to do is come up here to the corner and click on Create Account. It will walk you through this account setup. I'll put up an old video of me going through this. And once you're done, you should see a page that looks like this. If you don't see a page that looks like this, don't panic, I'll show you how to get to the page that you're seeing right now. But for a percentage of you, you'll see this Meta Business Suite here, which is different than Business Manager, but they're connected. So Business Suite is a little bit simpler. It's kind of like flying a plane with a very simple interface, whereas Business Manager is flying a plane with all the controls and all the little intricacies that you would know as an experienced pilot. This video isn't about Meta Business Suite, so I'm going to go to Business Manager, and the way that we're going to do that is by going to Settings, and then going to More Business Settings. And look at that, you're inside Facebook Business Manager or Meta Business Manager now, this is your business home. So now let's talk about all of this stuff inside of here, because it's super important that we understand all of it in order to run our business correctly. First of all, up here, you should see your business manager. If you have multiple business managers, you'll be able to have a drop down and scroll through and click on the uh, multiple ones and, and log in there. If you only have one, it'll just be the one there. Then underneath this, you'll see users, people, partners, system users, and then accounts, and then all these other menu items. Awesome, so the first thing you can see here is users, but what we want to do instead of coming here to users, we want to start on accounts because we can add people to our business manager, but if we don't have anything for them to manage, it doesn't really make a difference. So let's come here to pages, and you can see I've got a ton of pages added to my business manager, but if I'd like to add another page, I can click here on add. I can either add an existing page, request access to an existing page, or create a brand new page all inside of Facebook Business Manager here. So if I wanted to add a page, this would be like something I already own or I'm already an admin on. And if I wanted to request access to a page, this would be a page, maybe one of my client's pages that I wanted to get added to, and then they would have to approve that request. Great, now let's go to add accounts. And the same thing is here. We can add an ad account, something that's already existing. We can add it to this business manager, or we can request access to a different ad account in a different business manager, or we can create a brand new ad account. Business asset groups. This is where you can add groups of things. Um, not super relevant for most people watching this video, but if you'd like to add different assets into different groups, then you can do that here. And then apps. This is where you can add different apps to your Facebook business manager through the ID. This would be like something that helps you track or maybe get a better ROI for your clients. You could add it here. Instagram accounts. This is great. You can come in here and add your Instagram to the Facebook business managers. Pretty straightforward. Just click connect your Instagram account, connect it. 
And WhatsApp more recently is another option of what you can add in accounts. But the main ones you're going to use here are pages and ad accounts. Once you have those added, it's a really smart idea to come up to people. And inside people, you might wanna add your business partner or maybe your husband or wife or your, an employee. You could come in here, go ahead and type in their email. And I don't add anyone to my business account that I don't want to be an admin because I don't wanna to have to deal with getting them access to something little because they only have access because they're an employee access here. I just give everyone admin access because I trust them wholeheartedly. Once I give them admin access, I can come here and click next. And then if I come to pages, uh, your new pages or classic pages experience, doesn't matter. And I could add them to a couple pages here. And then I could come to ad accounts and add them to the ad accounts I want them to have access to. And then on the right hand side, I can make sure that I give full access here so they can do all of these things on the pages that I've added them to and on the ad accounts that I've added them to. Once I click invite, it'll send an email over. That email usually goes to spam, by the way. So check your spam folder when you send it over. Uh, the other things you can add are uh, Instagram accounts, apps, and pixels. All of these things can be added to the people that you add to your ad account. Another option for getting people into the assets like your pages, ad accounts, and pixels is coming to partners. And if I click on this, I can either give partner access to certain assets that I have, or I can ask a partner to share their assets with me. So let's say I was working with a company and they had their own business manager with their own ad accounts and their own pages, and they wanted to share it with me as a partner instead of adding me as a person to their business manager. What I would do in that case is come here and click ask a partner to uh, share access with me. And then I would come here and click, I'm a media agency and the partner's role is a brand or business. I'd fill in my information and then request the access that I need for whatever I'm doing for them, whether that's running ads or posting to their page. Awesome, so that is the core functionality of what Business Manager does. The rest of the stuff you're not gonna use quite as much, so we'll kind of breeze over it. Data sources, you've got catalogs, pixels, offline event set, custom conversions, event source groups, shared audiences, and business creative folders. When it comes to the data sources you'll likely be using, pixels are gonna be the most popular and custom conversions. So if I come to pixels, you can see I've got multiple pixels inside of this ad account. And if I want, I can add people to specific pixels or I could go back to the people section here and add them to the pixel that way. If you don't have a Facebook pixel yet, then you just click add on this and you go through creating the process. Very easy. Uh, it's a great resource for anybody to have that's running Facebook ads or Instagram ads or WhatsApp ads now. And one more thing about pixels before we move on is if I click on this open in events manager, I can go ahead and see what's going on with my pixel. So this is a different part of Facebook business manager. You can see the data sources, custom conversions. We've got a different menu over here on the left. And if this pixel was active, which it's not, I would be able to come through and see, you know, different things that are going on with my website that I've added my pixel to. For those of you who don't know what a pixel is, it's just a piece of code that tracks people on your website. Great, now let's head back to business settings here and talk about custom conversions. If I wanted to add a new custom conversion, I just come here to create new custom conversion, and then I'd assign it to a specific pixel here and go through the process of creating it. This is pretty advanced, I don't wanna go over it right now, but this is where you access those custom conversions which is, a, a, again, an advanced marketing thing where you're tracking people on certain pages of your website. You can also access custom conversions by coming to custom conversions inside Events Manager. Congratulations, you found it. That's one thing everyone should understand about Facebook Business Manager is there's always like 15 ways to get to the same exact spot and do the exact same thing. I don't know why they set it up that way, but they did. So good luck to you as you figure this out. I hope this video helps you along the way. Great, next up we've got brand safety. You can add your domain in here so you make sure nobody else is advertising to that. Block lists, uh, anybody who's maybe tried to hack you or somebody's commenting on your posts or something like that, you might be able to manage that here. Uh, registrations, news pages, you won't need to register for that unless you're a news page. Leads access, this is where you'd get leads for specific pages and you can uh, add specific people to those pages so they can access those leads. Pretty important if you're running Facebook lead ads. Now let's come to billing and payments. This is super important. When you come to payment methods, you'll see what methods you can pay for things through. And then you can also add or delete other payment methods through here. Legal entities, Facebook might require you to add your legal entity to the business manager for tax purposes or just so that they 
you can make sure to cover their legal bases as well. Security Center, this is where you can turn on two-factor authentication. Requests, this is where you would see if somebody's trying to access your business manager or you're trying to access theirs. Notifications, this is where you can turn things off and on. I recommend turning off a lot of the notifications because there's so many that comes through. Business info, fill out as many of these as possible. Very important that you do so. And then setup guide. You won't need to use the setup guide because you watched this video, congratulations. All right, so that's the business settings menu, which is only one part of our lovely business manager, which is so complicated. If we click on this hamburger menu, you will see that I have an infinite number of things that I can do. It's just ridiculous how much they put in here. I don't know why they make it so complicated, but you can see I've got my business settings and then you can see I've got ad account settings, ads reporting, creative hub, and audiences. Let's go ahead and check out ads manager because that's probably why you're in this video and why, you know, that's how you run ads. So that's what we want to do. Let's come here to ads manager. And as you can see, I've got some ads running in this account right now. And if I click down on here, you'll see all of the ad accounts that I have inside of my Facebook business manager. I can swap between them if I want. Now, if you're curious on how to actually run ads, again, watch the other video that I put out. But inside of Facebook ads manager, you can do things like delete campaigns right here or add tags to campaigns or add rules on your campaigns. You can also come here to columns and edit what you're seeing. So if I came here to customize columns and I clicked on, you know, post reactions and post saves, something like that, then I could scroll to the right and you'd see that post reactions and post saves are added to the default metrics that I'm able to see on each ad account. And then you can come back in and just switch that back to performance and it will remove that. Great. You can also come in here and click on view charts on anything that you're running and you'll be able to see the performance of the ads, the demographics and the platform that your ads are running on as well as the delivery of your ads if you're using the reach and frequency buying type, which I'm not in this case. So tons of really cool things inside of ads manager. And again, we access that by coming to this menu and then clicking ads manager. Now let's look at ad account settings. Inside of ad account settings, we can manage our payments and manage our roles. This is just gonna take us to business settings and this is gonna take us to payment settings, which are both inside of business settings. Don't ask me why they put it there. Again, you can get there 15 different ways. Ads reporting, this isn't amazing, but you could come in here and create different reports for the ad accounts that you're using. Creative Hub, this is actually quite useful. Inside of Creative Hub, you can create mockups of ads so that you can test what they look like. So if I came in here, I select the Facebook page that I want to use this for, and then I would come in here and add media. Let's say upload a picture here. Awesome. Now you can see what this would look like on every individual placement when you're running ads. This is a picture of me and my lovely fiance, but you would obviously be using a different picture. You can type in words here, type in headlines, type in descriptions, and it will show you right now. It looks like it's glitching right here. I don't know why, but uh, typically this picture would be showing in all places. It's probably because of the, the way I have it cropped. There we go. Now it's showing up everywhere. Look at that, so pretty. We can see how it would look on all of these different placements. We can make sure that our creative is up to snuff. Creative Hub, very useful part of Ads Manager. Then if we come to Audiences, you can also access these custom and lookalike audience menus from inside of creating a campaign and Ads Manager, but you know, not super relevant, but this is another way to access them here. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and look at all of these other options we have. Account quality, you can see whether or not you've had strikes against your account. Apps, same exact thing as apps over here. I don't know why they put it twice. Billing, same thing. Brand safety, business settings, collaboration center, events manager, marketing solutions, media library, meta business suite. You can switch back to business suite, partner center, store locations, ad account settings, ad limits per page audiences, automated rules, campaign planner, creative hub, again, ads reporting, audience insights, creative reporting, experiments, meta brand collabs manager, traffic analysis report, page posts, and commerce planner. Of all of these, I think there's only a couple worth mentioning. And the first one is audience insights, which I do not even have access to. I don't think anybody does. It used to be cool, but they got rid of it because of privacy issues. And then creative reporting, we come here. 
This will show us specifically how each picture we're using in ads or other creatives is performing as compared to other ones. Uh, you can see this inside Ads Manager, but it's just a different view, specifically with just the creative. A couple other notable things, you probably won't use these, but we'll talk about them anyway, is the Collaboration Center. This is where you can kind of get two ads together, like branded content from one uh, company posting ads on another page. If you're not huge, you probably won't ever use this. The rest of these I can almost guarantee that you will not use and it's gonna be once if you ever use them. So we've covered all of the most important things today and hopefully you found out how to set this up correctly, add the people, the partners, the ad accounts, the pages, everything you need inside of your Meta or Facebook Business Manager to run your business successfully. Again, if you'd like to learn how to run Facebook ads, check out this video. And if you'd like to coach with me and grow your online business, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you next time.